contribution, I mean, a concrete contribution exactly in this event. My contribution probably would be for the whole acting committee because you're a part of the, I'm part of the council. So policies, concepts, ideas, funding, pang approve ng funding, sabi nga ni Chair Lisa, so that's uh, that's what we bring on the table. Because you know, we have been missing you on the field, I don't know the field is, but for years. We have been missing you, we have not been seeing you on the field. We've been missing the whole cinema for the last two years because of the pandemic. Uh, you know, uh, for a fact, I mean, in 2020, uh, we were able to uh, at least uh, set up the Luna Awards and of course, was able to submit, you know, in Oscars. But in 2021, we were not able to do that because there's no funding coming from the Metro Manila Film Festival. Okay, so... So, so hindi naman ako po pwede, ako lang ang maninili. Uh, it has to be all the guilds uh, to be uh, able to, uh, to vote and uh, we don't have enough funds for that. That is always a problem with, uh, with the Film Academy and the Philippines. Maraming problema ang FAP and uh, you know, hopefully maayos natin yan but uh, definitely limited funds is not, uh, is not going to do it. But the same thing with FPCP, sabi ko nga, with the uh, Chair Liga and uh, you know, the whole FPCP. It's, so it's a limited resources. I don't even know how to do it. You know, uh, magkano lang ang binibigay ng gobyerno para sa the whole uh, film industry. At kulang na kulang yan. Kulang na kulang sa lahat. And that's what we're trying to do with, uh, with the whole board and uh, of course with Chair Lisa is to get, uh, you know, to get uh, the government to see that uh, the film industry is very important. You know, culture and art, diba? that's the soul of the country. So, kailangan, hindi na tayo ng pansin. Okay, thank you. I now have something to tell my colleagues that I saw you here when we lost you for two years. Thank you. Uh, anyway, I'm always present pagdating sa lahat ng mga board of directors uh, meeting. So they're not, I, I don't think they're missing me, Maliga. <laughs> Thank you. Maraming maraming salamat, Dabarek George. They are susunod na magata ng our friends from Stars Photography ha, Kuya Alan Sangkong. Friendship and division. Thank you. Congratulations, po. Happy anniversary of this week. Congratulations to this Filipino International Professor. Yung question ko for uh, Ms. Vivian Reles to Shirley Sasa kay Dr. Corona Kalutini. Kasi masyadong pinatapa ng ano eh, yung pandemic, yung Filipino ng Filipino. Parang lately na nagpalabas ng yung isang filmmaker sa cinema. Parang hindi ko hita, di ba? Yung, yung Pilipino film na yung pinagalas. Ayun po, ano po yung plans mo? To, para yung pagkatapa ng Pilipino ng Pilipino, eh, medyo nakakabangon na ngayon, eh, di ba? Ano yung plan that you do para magbumangon muli yung Pilipino ng Pilipino? Anong type up yung ginagawa ng mga tapos? Hello, ayun. Um, of course, you know, while continuing with its programs uh, para ipagpatuloy yung mga uh, initiatives to uplift and uh, elevate our cinema, we have to address on ground kung ano yung nangyayari. And um, the only way that we can restart and jumpstart is to be able to provide funding. Kailangan meron tayong pang stopgap sa kanila. Meron tayong pinipigay pang boost sa mga filmmakers natin. So, um, ang goal is hopefully that um, Anjan na yung programa. We have a Create Philippine Films to support domestic fund, uh, public funding for domestic films, yung mga local films natin. We have the Film Philippines Incentives para mag-drive ng foreign production, para mag-shoot sa Pilipinas. And this will really um, expedite yung um, pwede natin kitain kasi isang production lang pwede sila mag-spend ng uh, hundreds of millions in the Philippines. Katulad ng mga nare-receive natin, mga productions, spending between 
100 to 300 million per production. So, imagine yung trabaho na bibigay nito sa mga filmmakers natin, sa mga workers natin. Pero kung uh, limited, limited yung funding, katulad nga na sinasabi ni DG, um, limitado rin yung pwede natin supportahan. So, um, I think right now, nakita natin how important it is for us to really give importance to our film industry kasi bakit yung ibang bansa nakikita nila yung potential, yung, um, uh, yung uh, opportunity um, by investing in their creative industries. Look at Korea, look at France, look at US and Hollywood. I mean, nagpandemya na at lahat pero hindi sila tumigil na mag-invest ng mas malaking halaga para sa mga pelikulang ginagawa nila kasi ang goal nila is hindi uh, gumawa ng paraan para magbumawa ng mga pagtawid-butong lang or para lang mag-survive tayo. They wanna make the films that will drive audiences to watch in cinemas. Kasi ang daming disruptions na nangyayari with all the streaming platforms na um, naging medium na no, at platform para manood ng content. So, in terms of empowerment, um, the FDCP has created initiatives para matulungan natin yung mga producers natin to understand paano ba mag-navigate in these streaming platforms, anong klaseng negotiation yung dapat na nangyayari at dialogue sa mga streamers para mas mabigyan natin ng value yung mga pelikulang lumalabas. But of course, at the end of the day, we need the audiences, the Filipino audiences, to rally behind our cinema. So, um, I think lahat kami dito, um, at kayo mismo, no, iisa yung goal natin. How can we promote each film? Ba parang ngayon, ano na siya eh, hindi na lang siya, um, uh, hindi na lang siya concern ng isang production. Dapat, bawat pilihin ng Pilipino na lalabas sa mga sinimas ngayon, tulungan natin Suportahan natin, huwag tayong magkanya-kanya at huwag tayong mag, uh, gumawa ng paraan para ibagsak or, or uh, uh, ibaba no, yung mga pelikula ko. Let's all elevate and help um, by supporting all of those jokes. Kasi diba, parang sinasabi nga nila, diba, um, a high tide rise all the jokes. Tama ba? <laughs> Ayun, so, uh, so sa June 22 po, abangan po ninyo si Chilin Gutierrez at si Paula Magalino sa kanyang mga pelikula. I think uh, the demand talaga uh, what happened to uh, our cinema, uh, the cinema and the arts are essentials. We're not non-essentials as, uh, as a mandated by the law, the idea for the pandemic protocols in this country. Um, we've gone online, all of us have gone online, and uh, through this kind of effort in a face-to-face, a president face-to-face, -to -face, and hopefully sustain face-to-face -face, at least on-site activities, we have to revive the usual Philippine film cultures uh, to render it vibrant and alive and viable and profitable again for our stakeholders, especially for our film industry's uh, workers. No one had to the last um, two years, uh, they were in the survival alone. But uh, with this generation of our filmmakers coming to war, uh, it just renders the possibility of the future uh, being still bright for Philippine cinema. I think um, there's a lot of critical issues that have to be addressed. And, um, well, there's two that I can think of tonight. Una una yung ating mga cinema uh, exhibitions. Kasi yan ang talaga problema ng isang filmmakers. Kasi paano naman tayo uulad kung isa o dalawang araw lang ang ating na pelikula na ipakalabas sa sinihan. So I guess it's it's a whole uh, approach eh, uh, ng, ng, uh, ng buong Pilipinas. Kasi syempre alam naman natin negosyo yan. But then someone has to give. Somebody has to give. Uh, hindi kasi po pwede hindi pa subsidize nito ng gobyerno dahil otherwise, mamamatay talaga. Patay na ating pelikula. Kung hindi dito sa ating mga talagang mga filmmakers, young filmmakers at that, kasi mga dreamer pa sila, no? Wala, magaling pa silang mga ano, 
ay di na rin pa. Ma magaling pa sila mahingi ng pera sa mga magulang nila. <laughs> but uh, even, but you know, how long will it last? So, kailangan talaga yung ating uh, distribution. Yung ating, that's very critical. Number two, uh, pinag-usapan namin yan sa board, we should be able to take back Metro Manila Film Festival. Itong Metro Manila Film Festival, dapat maibigay ito sa FBCP. Unang-una, wala silang Monday. Ang, ang MNDA, wala sa charter nila ang mag-conduct ng isang film festival. Alam ko, marami akong pwedeng sabihin because pwede na ako magsalita ngayon dahil by experience ng Film Academy of the Philippines, under MNDA, ako na po ang makakapagsabi, dapat maibalik ito sa FBCP. Sana matulungan ninyo kami because, yes, thank you. At gusto ko saan mangyari at the home of, uh, of Chair Lisa. Kasi talaga, alam na alam niya talaga uh, um, kung paano no, pa, pa, uh, gawin ito mga festivals ito. At nasa mandate ito ng FBCP. Sana tulungan ninyo kami na kalampagin ang MNDA na maawa na kayo sa industriya at ibigay ninyo ang Metro Manila Film Festival sa FTCP para ma-manage ng mabuti ito. Yun lang po. Yeah. Congratulations, Sir Lisa. <laughs> Thank you po. Maraming salamat, uh, Sir Alan. San ko ang stars to talk. Susunod na magtatanong. I believe we're really down to our last question for the Q&A. Wala naman ang gusto mo ng after. Tito Gorky, Rula! Thank you, Rula. Uh, good evening po. Uh, gusto mo muna tanongin si, si Ma'am Vivian, si Ma'am Lisa. Of course, baka meron mo natin ka si Dr. Roland Tolentino. Based from your statement, meron sa tanong ni Alan. It seems for that we can roll. I don't know if you're giving me. Um, it seems parang uh, kulang pa or baka meron pa kayong hinihihisang ang support sa ating current administration. So, ano mo ba yung pagkukulang at uh, ibaretso ko na rin yung tanong, um, what do you expect from our next administration? Uh, dito para po sa ating uh, movie industry, specifically na rin sa Visible na Pilipino. Mga Lisa? Um, siguro talaga uh, in terms of support mo sa mga programa, uh, sa mga inisyatibo, nandun ang gobyerno. Because uh, uh, hindi namin magagawa ito kung hindi talaga may pigay ng all-out support ang uh, si President Duterte at ang buong administra administrasyon. First time ko na feel, of course, it's my first time in government, na lahat ng government agencies na nilapitan ng FBCP talagang nandun to support from DTI to CHED to DOH, so the name is, um, yung kulang na pondo sa akin, sila'y nagbibigay para makapagbigay kami ng funding sa mga presenters. But um, in the whole context, no, on how arts and culture is perceived, doon tayo nagkukulang. Kasi kailangan, hindi siya pwede mo sa existing na status quo, eh, na titignan lang nila yung existing budget, titignan lang nila na, ah, okay, pwede natin nagdala ng konti, pwede natin nagdala ng uh, 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 5 million, 10 million. You know how much uh, it costs to make one film. And in this day and age, sa advent ng streaming platforms, hindi na tayo pwede gumawa ng pelikulang low budget. Dahil yung technical requirements ng Netflix, Amazon, they're so strict even in the cameras that you use. Pag hindi nag-fall sa kategory ng allowed cameras, you cannot even distribute your content in these platforms. And alam natin, hindi na lang alternative itong mga platforms na to. They are our primary um, uh, platforms because right now, there are challenges that we are facing in terms of our exhibition and distribution in cinemas. So, we have to embrace these changes. We have to be agile, meaning we have to be flexible. And the government has to see that it cannot, it has to go beyond just giving the usual budget to the FPCP. There has to be 
um, an intentional um, uh, direction towards amplifying, expanding uh, the current programs that we have that can really help the industry. So, what do I say? For example, hindi lang 50 million, kasi yung 50 million na binigay nila sa FPCP para sa Philippines, bumalik siya ng 1 billion in one year. So, imagine niyo kung magbigay sila ng 300 million, 500 million, ang laki ng balik sa industriya if they give all out support. So, yun talaga siguro yung hindi Sana with this new administration, I know how much this new administration has given support to arts and culture in the past. And um, if there's one thing that we saw, is they never saw arts and culture as an expense. And it is not an expense. It's the soul of the country. So I hope that ito na, no? Hindi lang po support na, hindi lang po pagbibigay, pagchuchampion sa mga ginagawa ng mga ahensya na sunutulong sa sa pelikula, pero investment. Let's invest in our families. Thank you, ma'am. How about now? Yeah. Sabi ka lang, Pucia. I don't know. Yes. Um, okay. Well, it's, you know, as we are saying, it's, it's not enough. So whatever, what's the, what, whatever crowd na binigay ng government kami na previous, previous kasi we are in the transition, you know? uh, it, it's not enough. Uh, alam, na, alam din naman natin in the last two years then, eh, na-hijack kasi yung, uh, yung uh, administration ng kanilang uh, programs or that na. But uh, this coming administration, I think uh, we will be better off. Uh, why am I saying that? It's because uh, I mean, Marcos is, is somehow more or less uh, uh, medyo full, uh, medyo mas uh, nabibigay ka ng pansin. Uh, I've talked to her months before and uh, alam niya yung problema ng industriya. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, nabibigyan niya pa rin ng pansin uh, sa mga susunod na uh, mga taon. Thank you, ma'am. How can you please really pray? Yes. Thank you, ma'am.